Hey everyone, uh, I'm back here today, part two of proper purging of a propane cylinder. Um, today I'm going to show you kind of the actual procedure behind it, and this is going to be with a 120 gallon ASME tank. Um, and I'll kind of show some differences where this may differ with a 20 pound tank and why most places aren't set up to um, properly purge them for you. So I'll bring you into this tank. This right here is a 120 gallon tank. Um, if you come up on it, you know, we have stickers on it that say it's vacuum purge, so we know. Um, but how else might you know is if you take out your dust plug there and you put your hand over here, you know, it'd suck your hand in. Or if you turn your fill cap, you can hear it sucking for air. So proper purging of a tank, what they want is the general rule of thumb for your first purge, you want one pint of methanol for every 100 gallons of tank capacity. So for this, we'll put one pint in. Um, and then the code specifically states that when you're purging a, a cylinder, they want it done with propane vapor and not just liquid. So what a lot of companies will do, it, you know, it's a lazy thing, is they'll just take their propane delivery truck and real quick they'll pop off the cap and put their nozzle right on the fill and then just you know slam it full of liquid now the code specifically states not to do this why i don't know but we do things by the book so that's how we do it now we have a setup here um we have our purging tank right there and it feeds a little manifold here so what we do is we'll end up taking this hose here and we'll put it into the tank here and we'll use the vacuum of the tank to draw off um, the methanol up here so let me put you on a tripod and I'll kind of show you how this works Now what we'll do, we'll turn the tank on. You can hear it's not sucking for air. We'll turn shut off valve on right here. And then if we come over here, back to our manifold, we have a series of things set up. We'll turn that on. And we're just gonna draw a pint down off of this jug up here. Give or take. Now we can come back down here and we can open our pressure line. And we can check to see if it still has vacuum. Normally I just open the fill valve up, see if it's still sucking for air. And it's not. It's seated the check valve in there. So this tank is fine to be set aside for um, for installation. Now one of the things that you run into with a 20 pound cylinder and I'll kind of show you something in our cage over here. Is, you know, if you have a new tank and you go and open this, nothing comes out and that's because there's a check valve inside. And this is good for a couple of reasons, but it also has an excess flow. So if you have an old tank that you're trying to purge that's not under a vacuum, remember how I said in the last video, you had to bring it up to 15 pounds of pressure, release it five times. If I were to go ahead and press inside this, it would let 
pressure out real quick, but it would slug shut for because the excess flow valve wouldn't allow it. So literally, the only way that you can properly prep a 20-pound grill tank is by having a vacuum pump set up. And most fill stations, you know, at your local hardware store, are just not equipped with a vacuum pump. So it's kind of one of those unfortunate things in the industry, but it's not really a realistic thing that happens all the time. Um, but back here at the shop, we can do it all the time. It's not a big deal. Now, air in a propane tank is a big issue. Air doesn't compress the same as propane. So if you have air in a tank and you were to just put propane in it, you can get major pressure spikes, blow off the relief valve. And on top of that, if you have air in there, you also have moisture in the system, which can lead to rust. And in the last video, we talked about odorant fade. Um, so that's kind of how we just prep a tank. It's real quick and easy. We'll go ahead and disconnect all this stuff. You know, make sure to close this. plug back in I my hose off camera. but that's basically how it's done um, we do it with all our tanks you know 500s thousands we got a thousand gallon tank on our truck right now that we got going out next week um, but I realized I made the last video and kind of talked about it but I wanted to show you how a properly tank how a tank properly gets purged um, so if you have any questions go ahead and leave them down below please like comment and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.